Hello, um, yes, I'm on your website here, and I'm just looking at the get involved um, section here, and I'm I'm wanting to get involved in um, trying to come up with a baby, basically a solution as to how how Alzheimer's is is, is occurring in such um, rapid uh, rates at the moment. Uh, how how do I how do I get involved? Um, help helping out the society. No. Well, basically, you see, I'm on the I'm on the site. Here. See, mm -hmm. so many, so many of my extended family and people around me now are getting Alzheimer's and dementia, and yeah. and I'm <clears throat> kind of even noticing the early signs of it myself. To be honest, my memory is very, very bad. Um, but it's, I mean, it's 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 a real problem in the country now, and I'm, um, I'm looking at like um. The Irish Health Organisation are talking about like how it's going to be an epidemic in forty years and all this. And, um, yeah, but you know the reason they're saying that. Yeah. The reason they're saying that is because our our, our population is, you know, living longer. All oh, right. Yeah. And as age is the greatest risk factor. Yeah. That's why they know that it will increase as people are living longer. Okay. That's why they know it will continue to yeah. because. You know, over 80 is even more prevalent than over 70, and over 90 is more prevalent than over 80. You know, right, yeah. As the age rises, I understand, okay. It becomes, you know, more probable or possible. Okay, yeah. Now, do, um, so do, do, that's why they're talking of it that, you know, it will almost be yeah. epidemic because it's so costly. Yeah. People need to look at that because there needs to be such care around it. You know, okay. Well, and you'll see that in some of the research publications in that. Have you been on to the research? No, I'm, I'm uh, there, oh, there's a research tab here, I'm only noticing now. I, I, in the research that's that's been carried out in Ireland so far, what what are, what, have, what have the findings been so far, like as, as regards, like what are the main causes of Alzheimer's or what are the supposed main causes? You see, that, that, that is an unknown still. That's not why they're doing all, all the research. They okay. Have, you know, there's a very small percentage that's genetic. Yeah. You know, it's not even, 99% of it isn't. Mm -hmm. Almost definitely say. Yeah. Um, age is the biggest risk factor. So you're saying, yeah. you know, age isn't a cause as such. But yeah. once you get up there, your yeah. risk of developing it is higher. So okay. you could say the aging process, you yeah. know, um, yeah. certainly yeah. is a factor. But what factor of the aging process is it that causes yeah. some people to develop it? Yeah. I think it was Philadelphia where they actually took a community of nuns. Yeah. And the nuns went on to donate their brains. So right. they were able to actually, because as you know, they, they said that actually to conclusively say mm -hmm. you have Alzheimer's as opposed to a vascular dementia, yeah. it has to be an autopsy. So, exactly. you know, so the, the fact that people are now um, donating their brains is going to extend that. But these nuns actually did donate their brains. Yeah. And they were able to see from that, because they had also been involved in the research, yeah. they were able to see that some of the nuns who showed the most signs of it when they were alive, yeah. um, and some of the nuns who showed no signs of it when they were alive, some of the nuns who showed no signs of it when they were alive, actually had more of that pl protein plaque on the brain than no. some of them who showed more symptoms. <clears throat> That's so amazing. why didn't those people show, yeah. you know, Yeah. Going well, but, uh, do 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 you know like is there like I basically I I'm I I'm I'm very concerned about uh, um, massive massive high quantities of, of aluminium that are that are present in the environment now. Well, they have actually more or less ruled that out. That was a big thing said earlier, but uh, earlier when, when now? Uh, I'm talking about years ago. Yeah. You know, Right. So, you know, they were they were practically positive that it wasn't the case. Okay. That aluminium wa was a cause of it. Because I know at the time people were throwing out their aluminium sauce and blah, blah, Yeah, and yeah. That it has no bad effect on your body. Yeah. But it did not appear to be well, a cause. Well, I, 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 I've been looking recently at the work of a, a world-renowned neurosurgeon called Russell Blaylock. He's an American guy. 
and uh, he's he's been carrying out autopsies like for 50 plus years and uh, in the last 20 20 20 to 25 years um, he has seen a massive massive uh, increase in in um, in in aluminium uh, present in the brains of all of all these people that, have, that 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 he's been doing the autopsies on and like b because of the alarming increase in all these autopsies that led him down down a path of, of uh, research basically and what 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 he discovered was was startling um he, he came across um a program basically that's been implemented worldwide which is, which involves the releasing of aluminium into into the into the air basically through the exhausts of uh, uh, jet engines uh, in a program called geoengineering and have you have you ever heard have you ever heard of this oh, by the way no i i haven't and and you see with all the research what you have to do is make sure you know has it been peer reviewed and, yes you know is, is, is it is does it stand up to scrutiny it, you know, it, it, all it, of them. and there are loads of theories out there but yeah that was the case and he absolutely had proof of it yeah you know i'm sure it would be up there in the research because i know i've, I've worked in this for 13 years yeah. i know i was hearing like that yeah but when when we heard from research people they were saying no it had not you know it had been ruled out because aluminium in certain areas let's say where it was a high um, thing of it, in the water there was no increase you yeah know? so because there is aluminium kind of in our water systems and that's right more than others that's so, right you know th there is lots of research but you, you you also have to be careful of oh yeah but it's not, it's not only his research, but basically it was his work that really got me looking into this whole thing and is, is this program really going on? And the more I looked into it, I, I, I'm 100% um, a, 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 a convinced that it's going on now because governments governments around the world are, are writing lengthy white papers and, and have written out patents proposing releasing these sulfates into the atmosphere for decades. Basically, the cover story that they're using is that it's to uh, blanket the, the, the Earth with, with an artificial cloud to reflect the sun back out to space to uh to to slow down global warming and did they like you can you can reference like the house of commons uh, science and technology Te science and technology commission back in 2009 wrote a lengthy report called the regulation of geoengineering and they specifically uh, um, mention in this that in this report that the intention of geoengineering is to uh reflect the sun back out to space and by doing this they uh, they intend to uh, release massive high quantities of sulfates into the atmosphere, and you know there's governments all around the world. That's only one one paper now, and like I mean there's there's geoengineering scientists in America on on American chat shows. Like there was one guy only on last last month, on not David Letterman. It was a jo uh, cold the cold world show, and basically this this guy is talking about releasing 200 million tons of aluminium into the atmosphere every year. Uh, I mean, he's 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 on record for for uh, stating this. He's 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 he's, he's he was at geoengineering conferences all around America on on C-SPAN television in America talking about this. And I mean, you know, so these guys are talking about it, you know. And I I'm I I'm seeing every day. I'm seeing I'm seeing I'm seeing things in the sky, basically anomalies that never never existed in the past. I mean. I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at cloud being created from the jet engines of, of, of planes. I'm looking at the sun being blocked out, um, and I've recently I've recently got rainwater tested, which has showed up high quantities of aluminium. And now aluminium shouldn't be in rainwater, maybe a tiny amount, but uh, the quantities that I got that showed up on my results were 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 way 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 above what should be there. Uh, Yeah. Um, now they're doing more research on, um, you know, d healthy le lifestyles with people with dementia, but they are yeah. doing that kind of research. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Trinity, Trini Trinity College. Okay, yeah, they, they might be the good to get onto them. Of, um, you know, how to help people with dementia live longer and live healthier lives. Okay. They might be the people to contact. Like okay. For us, Yeah, right? yeah. But the, you're talking more science here. Yeah. You know? So you need to go into, again, the research we would do would be with, more with 
people and how things affect them because we, that's what we So are. it's just, yeah, you know? just the symptoms you'd be addressing and, basically. Mm-hmm. Well, we, yeah, we're, we're a kind of a person-centered yeah. um, thing. So, you know, we so, don't so have scientists, we don't have really? researchers as such in wow. the uh, end of No scientists? No, we have no that's scientists. That's amazing. The Alzheimer's Society was set up as a support group for people with dementia. Wow, that's, right. that's 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 amazing that there's no scientists on board at all. Yeah. No, we have researchers that are doing, you know, the, the people research is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but okay. That is more the, the remit of the research um, colleges. Yes. You know? So you think Trinity or somewhere like that might be a good I place do, to connect you? Yeah. And also the other one that has the brain uh, thing now is is uh, Bowman. Yeah. Bowman is now, you know. Um, Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So that might be more. To okay. Take, to, 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 to go with it. Okay. Because, you know, well, if look at the ba- basically. I might be able to carry out the research. Okay, great. Look at uh, see. Basically, I, I've I've uh, I've donated to to um, to this society a couple of times throughout my life. And uh, just small donations here and there, and I, I donate to different organisations and charities whenever I have a few spare quid. But uh, I've I've only found out in the last like say four years about this program called geoengineering and what what they're spraying. And um, you know, ever ever since then, I've I've been I, sh- I should have actually contacted you before now, but I'm only really starting to, to to get active, really active now in the last in the last while. But. Uh, it's, I, I think it's so important that societies like yourselves need, that, that you look at the, 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 the root cause of, of, of problems rather than just addressing the symptoms because this seems to be the, tr- the problem. Well, through you see, the, our, our problem is we are a charity. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We're, you know, we're a, pr- a charity that provides for services and the only reason we get funding from the HSE is to provide those services. Okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. Everything else that, that, that we need in order to provide those services as you know, okay. funding. Yeah. You know, but you're talking about research funding, scientific research funding done in labs. Yeah. So we yeah. would be more hospitals, university hospitals. Yeah. Um, or, or universities themselves. Okay. Labs in universities. And okay. That isn't, you know, as I say, we are a person centered service. Okay. Uh, set, set up for the support. Okay. Uh, we'll, of people we'll look at. Living with it. Well, great. Okay. Well, look at what I've been doing this week. Now, I, I've been on the phone this I week. Okay. The research documents that are there. Yeah. Um, and I, I will, I will just mention to her. I'll give her your details. Okay. Well, um, I'll, I'll just tell you quickly what I've been. I've, I've been on to, I've been on to uh, our, uh, a, a government agencies all week, like from the EPA to the Department of Environment to uh, the Civil Aviation Authority, trying to, trying to see, trying to get answers basically as to are, are any of these organisations aware of this program that's going on, and no, none of them seem to be, to be aware. Um, as well, most of them don't seem to be aware whether they, whether they know about it now. It's another thing I don't know, but uh, they weren't letting on to me that they knew about it. But basically, I want to, I want to, um, I need to get uh, touch base with these organisations and and get information to them because there's just so there's just so there's just. I know. I, I went to them, and basically, they they can't accept information um, in the post or on the internet, basically, and um, through email or anything. They they basically what they're saying is they have their scientists doing air tests, and they know what air levels are safe, and they're they're safe now, and all this air quantities, of air levels of different um, elements and all that. They're saying basically that they have their scientists that are looking after all that, and they're not really open to debate. They're not really willing to look at any any evidence that can cl- conflicts with their with their. Um, you know, with their understanding of the way the environment is, basically. So then I went to the Department of Environment, and it's not really their department to say. So it was amazing. And so I went to the Civil Aviation Authority then, and the guy there, the main one of the main guys there, had no, no idea this program was going on. And it's just, it's amazing. It boggles the mind to think that this is going on every day all over the world. And, you know, I, I'm looking at it, well, I'm looking at it in the skies of Wexford every day. I'm seeing these lines being created in the sky. And you see, the thing is, they, they never existed in the past, you know. And when I'm onto these organisations, they're trying to tell me. Well, the, the EPA tried to tell me that they're just condensation trails. But yeah, basically, they they they, they, 
yeah exactly just just sorry i i don't i won't go on much more which i know you have to, you're probably busy but basically just for your own understanding like i just explained to you quickly like uh uh you know when i was a child i'm 39 years of age when i was a child growing up around around wexford like uh it's a busy we're under a busy airline here and we always have been now when planes have been flying by all the years when i was growing up they would just have left a very short little trail behind and they would have moved on and that would have been a vapor trail or a contrail but now in the last few years um the last good few years um these trails are much much longer than ever ever before and they're much wider Oh no, I know, but there's all, like the Boeing 747 has been around for like 50, 60 years, I mean, or f 30 or 40 years, I mean, and we're looking at pretty much the same aircraft, so of course you have uh, updated ones and all, but basically what I'm saying is, we, we, you could, like, um, that's, that's a good argument, like people could bring things like that into the equation, but basically um, the, the, the fact is that these, these, these trails, whatever you want to call them, persistent trails or contrails, they didn't exist in the past, only, into, only up till the recent... Um, the recent future they are up until the recent times they have have existed so i mean all all people have to do is look to their old photographs and, and look through their old albums and you will not see these and you look at the skyline now any morning if you can actually even see the sun and there's going to be trails all over the place but you see we don't even see the sun anymore i mean i'm from what we call the region formerly known as the sunny southeast and it's i mean unfortunately now it's just the geo-engineered southeast we don't get any sunshine here at all hardly anymore and vitamin d deficiencies are at an all-time high all around the country rte are, have got all these new adverts and all um um basically uh, promoting getting vitamin d in a pot basically now in, in uh, yogurts and in milk and do you know and it's just seen there's a massive media campaign to kind of normalize lack of sunshine and and i'm looking at all this going on it's it's so real it's just shocking it's startling and you know but um Look at I, I won't go on too much more with you because, about you because it is it's 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 heavy information and it's just I could talk I could talk all day about this to you. But I do think it, as I say, it has to be the science, doesn't it? It does have to be the science. So if you could go to those yes. places that yeah. you know are doing that. Yeah, research. yeah. Well, look at can I, can I send you, you can I, just for you, I I would lo I would like to send each employee of the the Alzheimer's Society in there in your building whatever uh, I'd like to send you as an information pack. On, on what I'm what I'm sending around to to um, politicians and and government officials now I'm right. Well, our our email address is helpline at alzheimer dot ie. Okay, I'll get that on the the website anyhow. Okay, yes. and I'll send I'll send something on. And you saw the research that is there on the website, but that, as I say, is really person centered research. It's, it's, you know, okay. It's not well, is the, is there anyone in particular? Or can I will will that that address will that will that reach that out? One Info that also look at that because they may be helpline uh, problems. So we all, always look at that first before sending it around. You know, that's Lovely. a particular address, info or helpline. Lovely. Um, because they may be very private uh, emails. So great. Okay, look at I'm going to send on some stuff in the in the email over the next couple of days, sure. And uh, Can I had your name. Yeah, my name is. I'll recognise it when it comes in. Yes, my name is Terry Lawton. L A W T O N. Yeah, T O N. Okay. And you're from? I'm from County Wexford, Kilmore and County Wexford. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Terry, uh, you, you send that in to either Helpline or info at Alzheimer. Yeah, .ie, yeah. Not with an S at the end of it, Alzheimer.ie. Alzheimer, okay. Those. Lovely job. Look, you've been very helpful. Thank you very much. Okay, Terry. Okay, take care now. Bye bye. Bye bye.